Next news is out of Brazil. A woman assaulted a Brazilian priest while he spoke to an audience of thousands. Um, so this happened in Sao Paulo. There were tens of thousands of people in attendance to this religious camp where this priest was speaking. Apparently, he said fat women don't get into heaven. So this woman storms the stage and pushes him off of it. Okay, I'm going to try to show the video. Just bear with me. I should have had this prepared. You should I, tell Ada to tell me that I should have a video ready for this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. But this one should have had one prepared and I didn't see it listed. No, yeah. it, it is listed. Mm. All right, this is listed. Um, here, yeah, let me go. Time. Let me go. This is actually real. I saw the video. It was it's pretty crazy. Hold on. Let me show this to you guys. Um, look at what? Wait, as music. I have to cut the music. Sorry, guys. Or else we're going to get a copyright strike. Look, look, just one second. Oh, so for people that are listening to this on the podcast, I'm t uh, I'll explain. This this priest, this Catholic priest is on the stage. He's talking to people. And this woman comes and just, boom, wow, just pushes the guy off the stage. Like, not just on the ground, but just, like, off the stage. This guy must, did he get injured? Like, broken? No. So no, here's, no. here's the deal. There's several different uh, things, stories going around here about this. People are saying she was mentally ill and has a history of mental illness. However, that wasn't found. Unfound. Like it's, yeah. it's just something that's being said. Um, it's also been said that he was not injured, uh, like at all. He, so he was fine. He was immediately to attended to. She was arrested. Um, he was giving a sermon. And also, so there are also mixed reports on what he said as well. Mm. So, uh, the friendly atheist, Hemet Mehta, if you guys don't follow him, he's awesome and you should. Uh, he actually wrote this article and, and he had to do an update to say that it's been reported that uh, this guy said fat women don't get into heaven. Fat um, women but don't get into heaven? He never said anything. Oh, wait, sorry, what? Other people are saying that the priest never said such a thing. Yeah. Okay. So, so there, there, was there are a, a lot of different stories going around. Well, there. there's another story going on that uh, saying uh, he's an anti-gay priest and said, also said some homophobic stuff. So, Pam, bring your camera a little bit down. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that's okay. That's good. Is this fine? Yeah. That's okay. Good. So, okay, okay. So we don't know if he said that or not. There's these were uh, rumors yep. that now there's a correction that maybe he didn't say those things, but it doesn't really. I mean, it does matter. But no, no, no speech justifies violence, right? Do you guys agree? Yep. Like I mean, whatever, whatever. I mean, I, I don't have absolute. I don't have any sympathy for him. If he said like I, fat women uh, shouldn't go to heaven or some something homophobic, I don't really have much sympathy for him. But I would still not condone this. You know, I mean, off, come on. No stage. matter what you say. Be getting yeah. injured for it. I don't. Is I think it's a very it's a really shitty result. Yeah. You know, I don't think it's, it's it's not any different than throwing milkshakes or any other physical attacks you do on people for what they say. I mean, if somebody has an argument that you don't like, if somebody is saying something that you honestly believe is not true or, or offensive, then fight them with better arguments. Yeah, this is this was this was shitty thing to do. If yeah. she's if she's not mentally ill. I hope she goes to jail for this. She she well, did she, get she was released oh, actually. She, I think okay. she was released. Oh. Well, she shouldn't get released. Too many Man. stories going around for me to say yeah. what happened after that. <laughs> the priest she decided not to press any charges. Oh, the wow, what a great PR for the priest. Wow, yep. because it's like look at okay, if see this is this is a major re example of how violence <laughs> doesn't work. The priest didn't get injured. This woman thought that she's doing something against the priest, and now the priest gets to say, I'm going to forgive her. I'm not going to go press any charges. Right. What a great PR yeah. for this priest, right? Like, it's a perfect opportunity. I mean, he, he's now known internationally. I wonder if his church is getting more donations now because of this, right? Probably. Violence as a reaction usually backfires. But even if it didn't backfire, it's just... It's just a fucked up thing to do. Don't do it, people, okay? Just talk back, okay? As soon as you cross the line of speech and just make it enter the physical reactions, then you're out. You're out of the 
game of exchanging ideas. You're out, okay? You're on the other side now. Even if it's small, even if it's just a sm small puck, like, oh, I don't like the people that I disagree with, I'm just going to go poke them. You are, Now you cross the line, you're not exchanging words, you are in the f you're physically, you're getting into people's personal space, just don't cross that line, okay? Just uh, keep the war of ideas a war of ideas. This is, uh, let me, let's hope nobody, uh, okay, Jeff is saying, this is the oldest joke, I'm so tired of this joke, people are saying thoughts and prayers. So it's, uh, for people that don't know, atheists, when they want to say something, uh, when, it, when they say thoughts and prayers, because they say thoughts and prayers are useless, so they're just, it's, the joke is that they're giving you something useless. Um, Angie's saying, I couldn't be more proud of her. Jesus Christ, look, oh, you guys, sure. don't, and it's, here's one interesting thing. A lot of times when we criticize uh, Hindus or Muslims for doing something, and they always say like, oh, you're so biased, you don't say this about atheists. We, or you don't say things when religious people are getting attacked. First of all, we're covering this news, we're seeing a religious person got attacked, and we are condemning it. Not only do we do, when, not only the, uh, we do that, we look at our own communities as somebody like Angie, and a Angie, this is not just an atheist, but atheist part of the atheist republic community, and we even call that bullshit out, right? We're saying, look how this is a problem in our own... Ah, Facebook, get this out of my way. Okay, yeah. Facebook, okay. And Angie is saying, I couldn't be any more proud of her. Angie is condoning violence, and that's bullshit, Angie. You should be ashamed of yourself. Murray is saying, that's not acceptable, even to people you don't agree with. Yeah. Violence is the last thing. I don't celebrate this. Thank you. Moral. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.